Hi, year 12, this is Mr. Lim here again, and this is our, what's this, the sixth video on proteins about the quaternary structure of proteins. Okay, so we're going to be learning about the quaternary structure. So what's the quaternary structure? It's when multiple proteins can be combined into one larger complex protein, and they're held together by various interactions, just like tertiary structures. Okay, so let's say I have um, protein A, if it combines with protein B, to make that particular shape, okay, that will mean that it is a quaternary structure because it's got multiple proteins um, making that shape, okay. And then all the tertiary, uh, the interactions would be like the um, hydrogen bonding, the ionic interactions, the dipole dipole, that kind of stuff would be occurring there to hold those two proteins together, all right. Um, the difference between quaternary structures and tertiary structures is that the interaction exists between two proteins rather than two amino acids on the same protein, okay? So hydrogen bonding can hold these things together, but this hydrogen bonding can be in both the secondary structure, which is between the peptide links. It can be in the tertiary structure, which can be between side chains of amino acids on the same protein. And it can even be in the quaternary structure because it's within the side chains of the amino acids on two separate proteins. Okay, so you're just trying to keep that all inside your head that uh, these interactions exist on different levels, right? But they're all the same type of interactions, they're just on different levels. Okay. Um, so yeah, diagram of quaternary structures and tertiary structures. So that's the quaternary structure there in the red, all right? But within one protein, so say that that green protein, um, that's just you know a whole bunch of squiggly bits folded up together, all right? And the hydrogen bonds might be between there and there, there and there, and maybe there and there. Okay, so those hydrogen bonds hold the protein structure together. Um, within one protein, and so it's all the same uh, length of amino acids, but then when you get between two amino acids, uh, sorry, two lengths of proteins, then it's quaternary structure. Okay. So for this to occur, the proteins must have complementary shapes, which allow enough of the proteins to come close enough uh, to each other to form multiple interactions that can be held together. All right. And so what that means is that these things aren't like beautiful kind of... Um, uh, they're not beautiful squares and stuff like that. So what happens is that these have to be complementary shapes, which means that this has to be just, just like that shape, okay? And if it's not exactly that shape, then these interactions, because they have, because remember, you know, these are at the atomic level, these interactions won't form if they're not exactly the, the same shape. Even if you have like, you know, here's that same thing again, I don't know. And even if you're off by a little bit, okay? And it's like, whoop, whoop, yep even if you're off by a little bit, all right? That means there's interactions here, there's interactions here, but there's no interactions in the middle. These two things are just gonna fly apart because there's not enough interactions to hold them together, all right? Um, often two of the same protein can fit together to make a larger, more complex protein. So say like you have, um, this is one protein, protein number one, but you have the exact same shape protein number two and the exact same shape protein number three they can all fit together even though they are the same protein they'll join together to form uh, one more complex protein where these quaternary interactions uh, hold together okay and so the the quaternary interactions are exactly the same as the um, tertiary interactions which will be that except for this the the disulfide links actually I'm not even sure maybe those are there as well but they're all the same but that's the idea that they um, hold together between two proteins and then make a larger complex protein. All right, that's it.